Glad to have you with us in the studio. I'm Reese Davis, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. The Huskies and the Cougars, a deep-seated rivalry in the state of Washington. Today, Washington and Washington State square off in the battle for the Apple Cup. That does it for us here on the NCAA College Football pregame show. Enjoy the game. We'll see you at the half. Washington is getting fired up down there as they get ready to boot this opening kickoff. He's to the 20. And down he goes at the 21-yard line. Getting ready to take the field in their final home game in their career. And the final games always have an extra emotional element in them. We'll see if they can channel that emotion and turn it into a victory. So let's see what the offense can do as they come out onto the field. Fires out to his wideout, and he's tackled at the 34-yard line. I'll tell you something. I'm loving this quarterback's confidence more and more as this game goes on. He's really throwing the ball with some purpose. He's taken down at the 42. Around an eight-yard pickup on the slant route from the quarterback. That makes it second and two. Let's go, defense. Let's get off the field, defense. The ball pops free. Picks up the loose ball. They'll knock him down for a loss. And they will keep the drive alive by recovering their own fumble. It's third down, and they're about two yards shy of the sticks. Empty backfield, quarterback in the gun. Five wide receivers. They go to the left for a nice game. Washington State's got a guy that's in a running for a national award here, Herbie. And, you know, the best time to talk about awards really is after you win them. Right now, it's all speculation. He's just got to play the game. Slings it, and down he goes at the 43-yard line. They get about seven yards on the pass and pick up a first down. And how about the poise of this quarterback to locate his receiver, pass the sticks, and get in the ball? That was a great throw. Colbert gains six yards with a short completion. They'll line up with five wide receivers. He chucks it downfield. Incomplete. Brad, look at the defensive coordinator down on the sideline. He's wiping his brow down there. They just caught a big break that time because the quarterback just overthrew the ball. Third down again. They go with a screen here, and the halfback's got it. 
and he hits him hard at the 29-yard line. That screenplay was well executed. I'm not sure the defense was looking for it, and they weren't in great position to make a play until the first down was already picked up. Setting up blockers, the running backs got it on the screen. Brought down around the 30-yard line. Loss of a yard. Really, they just had nowhere to go after the catch. Throws it to the outside. He's tackled at the 12-yard line. There's very good chemistry between these two. They like to run through all their routes before the game. And I have to say, they look sharp before this one even started. Throws complete. He's got room to work. Tackle at the 6-yard line. That'll make it second and four. And he just gets rid of it. Here's third down. Four yards to go. Ball on the six-yard line. Quick pass. And he is drilled. The seven-yard line. one should be makeable. Washington State could take the lead with this field goal. It's up, and it splits the uprights. And you got to think they're pretty happy with holding them to a field goal right there. Bennett gets set to kick this one away. He'll return it from the three. Gets to about the 24-yard line. So here comes the offense taking the field for the first time today. Hey, watch the screen, watch the screen. Watch the screen. Hey, check, check. Here we go. Check, check. Oh, 50. Run. And he just gets rid of it. From their own 24-yard line, second down. Got it on the quick throw. Tackle made at the 33-yard line. It's going to be fourth and inches after that long pickup on third down. Boy, what a throw by the quarterback. Almost equally excellent catch by the receiver, but the defense topped them both by coming up with a stop. Doesn't look like he's going to have much time to get rid of this punt. Didn't get all of that one. A scoring drive the last time out for this offense, and they'll huddle up for this drive. Washington State has a three-point lead. Under pressure. Passes left, gets it out to the halfback. They'll bring him down right around the 50. The quarterback was just lucky to get that pass off. He was under a lot of pressure in the pocket. You know, little passes like this force the defense to start to come up. Then you can see an offense take their chances downfield later to take advantage of the defense starting to cheat up. And he brings it down. And he's taken down at about the 23-yard line. That makes it first and ten. He's under pressure. Knocked out of bounds around the 23-yard line. the stop around the 15-yard line. <laughs> Tackle 
tackled after a decent pickup. That's good for a gain of seven yards. That makes it first and goal. There's a strike complete. Touchdown, Cougars. And Purdue set. He adds to his season catch total. Now it's 60. Is it safe to say that this quarterback likes throwing the ball to this kid? converts the extra point. A six-play, 53-yard drive, and they put up seven points. Brad, I love these kind of drives. They're old school, grind it out and earn the yards and just rip the heart right out of that defense. Looks like they're ready for the kick. Rodgers from the eight. And he makes it out to about the 31-yard line. It's not quite a blowout, but unless they do something here, it might turn into one. He gets out to about the 32-yard line. quarter. Washington State leads 10-0. And we're back for more action here in quarter number two. Stays in bounds and made a nice catch. Not a real fancy play here, just a smartly run route. Good protection and a well-placed ball. Most times, you don't need much more than that. Up the middle for a nice game. That's good for a game of five yards. That makes it second and six. throw out to the receiver and he's tackled at about the 49 pulls it in first down and he's knocked out of bounds They get him in the backfield for a loss. The offense couldn't get those linemen blocked, and they'll lose yards. Well, here, the defensive linemen did a great job at sealing up the hole at the line of scrimmage. From the 40-yard line, it's second down. Fires quickly to the tight end. He's taken down at about the 25-yard line. Down he goes at about the 21. That makes it second and six. Easy, easy, easy. Kill, 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 kill. Next up. Fires quick. He's got another one. And he tackles him hard at the 17-yard line. Great stop. The halfback picks up a yard. Fourth down. It's fourth down. They'll call on the field goal unit here. And they can make this a one possession game with this kick right here. Kicks up, and it's good. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. Sends it sailing downfield. 
He's to the 20. With one quarter down, I really haven't seen too much separation between these two squads. Might be neck and neck the whole way. Washington State up seven points. Going long. And he's hit before he could go anywhere. Huge play for both the quarterback and receiver. But it all starts with the big fellas up front who provided the time to get the quarterback a chance to throw. Looking for his man, incomplete. I like the scheme the defensive coordinator came up with here. They were all over the place on that play and left the quarterback nowhere to throw it. From the 32-yard line, it's second down. And a quick throw. Brought down at about the 27-yard line. Pretty nice pickup here. These guys are getting very tight on their timing. And he throws it away. You know, when you feel pressure like that, the worst thing you want to do is just to throw the ball into coverage. He got away with one right there. He's very fortunate. Next time, he should just throw it away out of bounds. Looks like they've decided to go for it here. Gets it out to his receiver in a hurry. He's tackled around the 12 yard line. Fires it out, and they push him out right around the 10 yard line. That makes it second and eight. Quick out to his receiver. Tackle at about the nine-yard line. Washington State is up a score. Quick strike, and he drops it. This should be an easy field goal. Washington State is hoping to make this a two-score game. The kick is up, and it is good. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. Terry takes it from the six. And he's taken down at the 31-yard line. It was a pretty one-sided first quarter, but I wouldn't be surprised if things changed in a big way before halftime. He makes it out to maybe the 33-yard line. They need to do a better job of managing the clock here. You're right, Fred. Not only was that a horrible play in terms of yards picked up, but also, as you mentioned, in terms of all the time that may be wasted. He scrambled. Tackle made right around midfield. And he has a huge game. And I like the decision-making ability of this quarterback. He looks and looks. He sees nothing. He didn't get rattled. He sees some green in front of him, and he takes off. Ends up with a great run. Caught, and he's hit immediately. got so excited to make this throw that I think he just put too much on the football. His receiver was open. He just misfired. Freeman is the putter. And he muffed it. Heading for the corner. He was definitely peeking to see what kind of space he had to run. And that loss of focus is what cost him.
So you wonder what kind of excitement we'll see this time around. There's a strike complete. He's down. From their own 45-yard line, it's first down. Three down, three down. I guess he'll throw this one as far as he can and hope for a miracle. He airs it out. Picked off. It's the ball hawking senior. through and it's been a good one. Washington State's got a 10-point lead. Hi everybody, glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Bruce Davis, David Pollock here in the studio as always. To lend a little perspective to what just went down in the first 30 minutes. The halftime lead is not insurmountable for this squad. And, you know, there are a lot of times when you watch the first half of the game and you start talking about mental toughness and, and energy and effort and all of those types of things. You get the sense this is more of an X and O deal for the coaches. A couple of minor adjustments that could really change the game in the second half. Yeah, if, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. But if it's broke, it needs to be fixed. And there's some things that you definitely see offensive and defensively that these teams need to be sharper. They need to be crisper. They need to find an edge. Maybe they need to go more up-tempo. Maybe they need to pass the football a little bit more. Defensively, maybe you need to be a little bit more aggressive. This is this is one of those things where coaches have to feel out. They have the feeling out process. They have to feel what you do well, what you're not doing well. And sometimes you need to completely go in a different direction. You're down two scores. Something good has to happen. You need to change what you've been doing because it hasn't worked. Just about set to start the second half. What are you looking for? I I'm looking to see which team has that decided schematical advantage. And if they can find it, they'll blow holes three or four axe handles wide. Brad and Kirk will be there to call the second half. All right, Reese and Davis, thanks, guys. Second half action just about ready to start here. Rodgers from the six. Tackle at the 41-yard line. Every coach we ever talk to, Herbie, talks about taking care of the football, and nothing drives them more crazy than what we're seeing out here right now. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. Ready? And he carries the ball for a nice game. And he makes it out to about the 47-yard line. Slings it. Open man, and it's his wide receiver. They'll bring him down right around the 22-yard line. He 
steps out around the 14 yard line. Makes it to the 12 yard line. Call it a gain of two yards. Third down. So it's third down, and they're just inches away from picking up the first down. Three down, three down. 51, Mike. Mike, 51. Nice run up the middle. run up the gut. That's a deep five on the ground. Right, right, right. That brings him second and goal. Great job of finding the space to run and just bursting in for six. Here's the extra point to get within a field goal. He makes the PAT. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. It's fielded at the two. He makes it out to maybe the 20 yard line. They're ready to begin another drive. Washington State is up a field goal. And he makes it out to about the 21 yard line. That brings us second and nine. Gets it. He's in space. Inside the 30. And a huge touchdown play. And he adds the extra point. is lined up to kick this one off. From his own goal line. And down he goes at the 22. So it's time to see this offense go to work again. This defense couldn't stop them from moving the ball and inevitably finding the end zone. From their own 22-yard line. Second down. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. That's good for a Taken down right around the 34. And he hits him hard at the 47 yard line. the stop at the 41.
Pulls it in, and he's in the open field. And he is drilled at the 35. Quick release, tight end, incomplete. He tried to hit his receiver in stride, but overthrew it a little too much. That'll come in time, just repetition, throwing that same pass over and over, and he'll be fine. Third down again. And he's going to come up with a sack. Man, it's an offensive lineman. This is the worst thing that you want to see, is your quarterback not only getting sacked, but getting hit like that. Those linemen better pick that quarterback up and start doing a better job of taking care of it. Try to change the field position with this kick. This one will go into the end zone and they'll bring it out to the 20. They did a great job on their last drive, moving the ball down the field for a touchdown. Let's see if they can duplicate that on this drive. As long as this quarterback has time to throw, then you can guarantee that he'll find the open man. And he's tackled at the 28. That makes it 62. He's taken down at the 31. Slings it out there incomplete. Jones is intended to see the play. That makes it second and ten. So it's second and ten. Ball on their own 31. And down he goes around the 42-yard line. That last completion puts him over 300 yards passing in the game. This young man really works at it, and it's always a boost to see that hard work reflected in the box score. He should be very pleased. And even though they're comfortably in the lead, it doesn't look like they're going to stop passing the ball. Fires out to his wideout. That makes it second and two. He's at the 40. The senior makes the catch. Brought down at the 38-yard line. That makes it first and 10. He's tackled around the 34-yard line. That makes it second and six. Here's the eighth play of the series. Dumps it complete to the halfback over the middle. And he's level at the 26-yard line. That's three down and one to go. The Cougars with a 10-point lead. Welcome back to the action here as we resume play here in quarter number four. Tenth play of the drive. Larry, Larry. He's out. At high 51, high 51. Got his man. Can't tack on any yardage. He gets rid of this one. It's fourth down, and the offense is getting set to go for it. Fires out quickly to the tailback, and he tackles him hard at the 21. Defense stiffens on fourth down, and the ball will change hands.
The offense takes the field again. They were forced to punt their last time out. They come out in a five wide set. Fires complete over the middle. Tackle at the 26. Shot, the defender tips it away. Nice job getting a hand on that one. Yeah, really good heads up play there to get a hand on the football by the defense. Third down, five yards to go. Ball on the 26. Quick throw, incomplete, one of his receiver. He let that pass get away from him. I think he's a little bit anxious. He actually looked a little bit too juiced that time, but he'll get the next one. Vincent is the deep man awaiting the return. He's tackled at the 35-yard line. Now, what a game it's been for this quarterback, Kirk. Well, I think the great thing that he's been able to do is spread the football around. It's not just been one receiver. And when you can find more receivers, it makes it much easier to move the ball down the field. And to be sticking it to a rival is even more special. Both teams are well aware that a score on this drive is going to create an almost insurmountable lead. This defense has really got to step it up and make a stop. Tackle made around the 44-yard line. Makes the catch, and the defense is all over him. They bring him down for a loss. They're stopped two yards behind the line. Really, they just had nowhere to go after the catch. Third down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. Going deep, lays it out there. And he hauls that one in. Touchdown, Washington State. That's TD pass number three. What I'm noticing more and more about this guy is he's very patient with the ball, and it's resulting in some nice scores, just like we've seen today. on the extra point. A short three-play, 65-yard drive, and they come away with a touchdown. Washington State gets set to kick this one away. Rodgers fields it at the 11. He's out to the 30, and he's taken down at the 31-yard line. The Huskies have just not been able to get that offense rolling at all today. I think they're confused. I think it starts up front with the offensive line. They're not having the typical game that you'd expect to see from them as far as communication. I think it's affected the rest of the offense. The defense really stepped up to force that three and out on the last drive. Pulls down the catch, and he's got room here. They'll bring him down around the 43-yard line. And they've got the dime package in there to try and deal with this five receiver look. Caught out of the open. Very good tackle in space. Less than three minutes in the game. That's a great tackle at the 45 yard line. He's on the run. Slides down. Fires 
fires it again to his tight end. And he's taken down at the 32-yard line. They'll line up with five wide receivers. Throws it in a hurry. And they make the stop at about the 27-yard line. End zone. Throws it and is caught for the touchdown. This guy just continues to impress me. Every time I watch this team play, he seems to come up with big plays. You've always got to be on your toes when you're covering this guy. And he converts the extra point. A nice seven-play, 70-yard drive. And a touchdown as a result. You, know, you can throw the football as well as these guys can. You don't necessarily always have to have a balanced attack because you're so proficient at throwing the ball. Brought down at the 42. Well, they got the result you always want on the last drive. Let's see if it happens again. And I love to watch a quarterback when he can really get into sync with his wide receivers. These guys have worked all week on their preparation to attack this defense, and right now, it's really paying off. Nowhere to go on the delay. Washington's going to take their first time out of the half. From the 42-yard line, it's second down. Less than two minutes in the fourth quarter. They keep it on the ground with the tailback. They go to the left for a nice game. The Huskies are going to call their second timeout. Caught over the middle. And he stopped behind the line. Taken back three yards. Not much going on there. Those kind of plays will not work against this defense. You can be sure of that. It's fourth down, and they're going to try to go for it. They'll spread the field with five wide. He's looking for six. Caught. Touchdown, Cougars. That could have been it right there. That score might be the deciding factor in this football game. Splits the uprights with the extra point. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. Terry fields it at the 11. He's got the corner. And they push him out around the 47-yard line. This is my kind of game. We're getting a chance to see so many touchdowns. I just wonder if this offense could continue the flow that we've seen from the previous three series. Well, the offense heading back out onto the field after that kick, hoping to turn this drive into another touchdown. As you can bet this defense made some adjustments on the sideline, though. I don't know if they can stop the passing attack, but they need to at least be able... The ball is loose. They fall on it. And that's exactly what this defense was looking for. Yeah, that fumble gives these guys some added life. Now let's see if they can capitalize off of it. Not much of a problem getting the ball in the end zone on their last drive as this quarterback just picked apart the defense. So much of the passing game is about the timing between the quarterback and his wide receivers. And right now with this offense, they are in sync, and really the timing and execution is flawless. We're down to our final minute of this ball game. Under a minute left in the game. After a decent run up the gut. That'll bring up third and eight. Double tight, guys. Double tight. Four down, four down. Mike 51. Mike 51. And 
And so that's going to do it. The Cougars come out on top, 34-17. As we finish up the broadcast, what do you have to say about how this game turned out, Kirk? Washington State came out here today and played with the heart and intensity that you love to see in a rivalry game. They should be very proud of their victory because wins don't come easy between these two teams. does it for this edition of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Herbstreit, I'm Brad Nessler saying so long.